Hey guys, for today's video, I was invited to do a healthier version of a traditional Mexican dish. So I chose chile rellenos because um, this is healthier and actually easier. So that's a win-win. The first thing that we're going to want to do is turn on the fire and we're going to put our chilies. We're going to start roasting them. We're going to roast them until the skin gets blistered. And one thing that I like to do when I'm picking out the chilies is to make sure that they don't have very large dips in them. This is pretty uniform all the way around here. And this will help when you're trying to get the flame to um, reach evenly on all of the skin. Also, if you don't have a gas uh, stove, you could do this on the grill, or you can also put them on a tray in the oven, um, put them on broil, they'll get blistered. You just have to keep rotating them. And you can also do this on the stove top, just on a regular um, comal or pan or whatever, but you just wanna try to get the whole skin blistered up and charred pretty good. So I just, as they start blistering, you just want to rotate them and make sure that you've got a pretty good coverage. Uh, you want to make sure that all of the skin is blistered. And if it gets blackened like this, that's okay too. You don't have to worry about that because the, the black is going to be peeled off. So these, look, these are looking pretty good. There's a couple little spots there, but after they're pretty much all blackened, we're going to put them into a plastic bag and I just save the produce bags and then I wrap it with a towel just like that. Those are going to sweat for about an hour so during that we're going to go ahead and prep our veggies that are going to go on the side. I just do some lettuce, some onion and some radish really quickly and also I'm going to have this salsa. This is a, a fermented salsa which is also a healthier salsa version that I do. If you'd like to see a video on that go ahead and leave a comment below and I will show you how I do it but you can see I'm pressing down and you can see all the little bubbles coming up that's all probiotic that's all lacto fermented um, probiotics so like I said if you want to see a video about that I'll show you but for the healthier version of chile rellenos this is what I'm using uh, traditionally it is a cooked salsa okay and then also as you can see here in the background i've got my girls rolling out some tortillas for us this i also did a healthier version this is made with uh, sourdough so these are sourdough tortillas i just use my starter let it sit overnight and then they're rolling it out tonight for dinner now that our chilies have been sitting for a while it is time to peel off of the ch off the charred skin and I'm doing this by putting it under running water and just slipping my finger, uh, sliding my finger and it just comes off very, very easily. It should slide right off and this is why it's important to get a pretty good char, a pretty good blister because the blister is going to separate the skin from the chili itself and then letting it um, sweat, it's going to just stay nice and it's going to get nice and soft and cooked in the bag. So I just also open it up down the side and I pinch off the seed ball, the little seed packet, and I also tear out the veins. And if you are sensitive to the oils, go ahead and you can use gloves or you can use probably like a fork or something for this. My hands did sting a little bit, but not it's not too bad. It really isn't that bad. So there I am pulling out the seed packet and the veins and just giving it a good rinse and setting it aside. Um, these are, like I said, it's going to be a healthier version of chile relleno, so I'm not going to fry these. Um, the batter is usually just with a fluffy egg, but I'm not going to do any of that. So this is going to be really easy, a lot easier than traditional chile rellenos. There again, I'm pulling out the seed, I'm pulling out the veins, giving it a good rinse, and setting it aside. Once we have all of the skin peeled off of our chilies, we want to make sure to remove any excess water that was there, and we're going to start putting the cheese into them. This cheese that I'm using is Monterey Jack cheese. You can use mozzarella cheese, really any kind of white cheese, the Mexican cheese. I just got this one, it was cheaper. I also forgot to grab the footage of the ground beef, but I'm using um, grass-fed ground beef and I'm also going to be putting that in, into the chilerianos as well. So here we're just going to start putting uh, about two pieces of cheese into each chili and then we're gonna head over to the stove and I'm gonna put the ground beef right into the chilies on top of the cheese. I'm really sorry about the camera angle here. I It must have fell, I didn't realize that it was out of frame but here's what it looks like after. And then we're gonna add the lettuce on there, some onion, the radish, and the salsa, this is a fermented salsa. Fermenting really intensifies the flavor of the salsa. Also, I'm gonna be adding some sour cream right on top, and I also made refried beans. 
and just to the side there and that's basically it. To accompany our meal, I also am going to be serving some hamaica, but this hamaica is also fermented. It also has ginger in it, so this is sort of, I do it the same way as I do with the kombucha, but I use a ginger bug. If you're interested in seeing a video on this, leave a comment in uh, below. That's our meal. So if you enjoyed this video, please um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you like it, and comment below if you want to see a video for the fermented hamaica or the fermented salsa. Thank you so much for watching.